We have a young sister in our group. She's one of our newer members. Her name is Aretha. She's crying out to the public from her heart. She's seen some ignorance that she can't deal with, some foolishness, straight out stupidity. And she's going to share this with you. I want to tell you the anointing is on her. And I pray that you take heed, please. Facebook friends and family. My name is Aretha Mastin, and I come to y'all because I have a dilemma. I watched the stuff that was going on downtown, and it was the most ignorant thing I have seen in quite some time. Now, what I don't understand is, why did y'all go down there, tear up the Justice Center, tear up people's businesses that had nothing to do with what y'all supposed to be down there protesting for? Second of all, how do you think you're going to make a change repaying evil with evil? Now your hands is dirty before God because instead of letting vengeance be God's, you put vengeance in your own hand. If you want to see a difference in this city, in this state, and in this country, you need to get on your knees. You cannot fight like this. You have to learn to fight in prayer with your hands together praying to God in heaven, asking for a change. God moves when he sees faith, not foolishness. Now, as old as some of you people are that was down there, sad to say, you are a bad influence on our younger generation because you're teaching them how to be foolish. You want your kids dying in the hands of the police? Because of your ignorance? Now you disturb something up. Now the police is going to be attacking everybody they come across because of your actions. You want to see a change like I said? Get on your knees and pray. Go downtown. Millions of you. Millions. Get in front of the justice center on your knees. Block the streets up with your bodies on your knees. With your hands in prayer position, posture to God, submissive to Him, and pray your request before Him. That's the only way you're going to see a change in this country and in this world and in this city. Violence with violence will never do. And it'll never make a change. It'll just get worse. And y'all just made it worse for everybody. Before you came to Cleveland, we didn't have a problem. There was nobody downtown tearing downtown up. Wasn't nobody angry down there tearing up the Justice Center. Everywhere y'all went, y'all left a trail of destruction behind you. Now our city is tore up because you came here and visited with your ignorance. God, oh sweet Jesus, have mercy on your souls. Because of your foolishness. Now you have caused somebody else's life to be in danger because of your actions. Because now the police are going to retaliate on our young children here while you go home about your business. Once again, get on your knees and pray. And ask God to forgive you for the foolishness that you have done. And then turn from your foolishness and turn to God and pray daily and pray without ceasing. Pick up a Bible, put it in your hand, open it up and read it. They always say if you want to have something from the black people, put it in the book. You want to prove them wrong? Pick up a book and let that book be the Bible. And don't just pick it up, read it, learn it, understand it, have it in your hearts. In Jesus' name, amen.